because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, good morning. LP setting in today for LP himself. We have Steve from Austin, Texas on the line today. Steve, what's up, buddy? Hey, Larry, uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, yesterday I was listening to your program and I got cut off uh, when Shane was going to talk about the S&P and I wondered what your thoughts were on the S&P and then also... What Shane said yesterday about the S and P is he uh, uh, thinking we're hitting some kind of bottom or what? No, he thinks that it's some type of a top sometime between the eighth and the tenth of May, and here we are on the ninth. So uh, he's looking at some cycles there now. You know, I was looking at that Fib number at uh, thirty two twenty eight, and we hit that. Uh, yeah, uh, we missed it yesterday, and then we hit it today. And but the thing it's uh, that's only troubling part of this, if you're bullish, is the Nasdaq has not made a new high as of yet, nor has the Russell. So two of the indices have made new highs, the Dow Jones and the S&P, but the Russell and the Nasdaq have not. So it's a little bit of a nor have the transportations. So and I watch the transportations just from old days. But, but you know this thing can go a lot higher. That's why you got to be really careful. Anytime you can take the Dow Jones up 300 points in a matter of an hour, that means as people are willing to buy it at any price. So you just got to stand aside. It's a matter of risk control, uh, Steve. Well, I, I I totally agree with you, Larry, and I and I like how you do things because. You know, again, you, you take a shot, but then, uh, you know, if it, yep. if it didn't work, and you, you go ahead and and get out of the position and, and stand aside. I, I totally agree with that. What I was thinking is is the um, the Russell, because it is the weakest, it seems to be. Yes, it and is. And I was thinking if, if, if Shane's thinking there's some kind of top in the next couple of days or so, then is there any kind of downside that you're looking at uh, for the, the oh, Russell? Yeah. <laughs> well, if it, well, the Russell is not even close to the high. You know, it's about 20-some 20, 20 points away from the high. But the downside, agree, yeah, don't know. Yeah. You, we don't know because if that is a, you know, the part of a topping, topping leg that we think it could be, which would be a huge ABCD factor, you'd be looking at the S&P, you know, somewhere under uh, – Around 3,800 is what you'd be looking at. But I mean, that's a long-term projection, Steve. You know, that's not something that's in my playbook. Oh, no, but, no, I understand. But that, but I understand. But, but he's looking at some kind of topping. And I, I remember when um, when you had um, uh, Bill Meridian on there, he was kind of uh, talking also that, well, it, this thing has, has dropped down a little bit more than he thought. So he was kind of in the the bearish camp a little bit too yes well we'll, we'll see but this is a real key level because we've um, hit two of them perfectly missed two that's not unusual because you got four indices out there and then you've got the other you know these uh what do you call these mega stocks that are sometimes go crazy but uh, we're at a real critical day today for sure because we did get up there and hit that number again and like i mentioned if you're going to trade that s p at that 3228 or excuse me 5228 you got to put a 10 or 15 point stop on it just because it could just take off and you know, do like Agreed. the Dow did and run 300 yeah. points in just a matter of a few minutes. You don't want to stand in front of that freight train. If you think it go ahead and, and say it does, this kind of maybe a fake out to the upside, what would you say on the downside if we're going to go ahead and kind of move through to the downside? What, what level would you want to see it break? Oh, uh, 5150. 51.50 in the S&P. We got to 51.86, uh, I believe, and then rallied up and made a new high. So 51.50 is the number that I'm looking at. That was the low that we had on um, Friday mid afternoon or on Monday mid afternoon Friday mid afternoon Monday's low was 51.50. So if we get below that, 
that would say all this stuff that bought it during the week would now have a lo losing position and would be going lower. So 51.50 is the key level to be watching. So that would uh, put your percentages of um, being on the on the the downside a, a little bit higher than at that point. Yes, they would, and, and not only that. You see, if you if you lose on one trade, it's going to give you so many opportunities because you know you just wait to get your next next signal, and if you're going to get ten signals, six of them are going to be right. You know, three of them are going to be uh, wrong. Sure. There's going to be one one break even. So that's all you have to do is to to plan that way, and you'll be you'll be just fine. What happened is people get locked into something, they have an opinion, and boy, you know, opinions are like armpits. Everybody's got one. It usually smells. So you got to be uh, got to be really careful, and it's all about the amount of money that you risk and how much money you make it's how much money you risk you already know that but i thought i'd reiterate it to you <laughs> larry you have drilled that into our heads and it it, <laughs> it finally sinks but you're right you know over a period of time yeah. people think it's just going to be one way or the other but i love the way that you trade and and your 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 methodology because you do say wait hey look i'm wrong sometimes it doesn't work and yeah. so yeah. you got to go the other way so, yep. and you've really done a great job at, at uh, teaching us that. So, uh, I want to thank, thank you, you very for that much. And, and you have a great day. And, Steve, uh, the address is the same to send the 20 bucks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you always say that, but All it's right. true. <laughs> But but you, okay. you've you've helped so many people in in uh, realizing you know not to get get stuck in a in a p particular position you know get out so that's the main thing I've seen people buy stuff and think it's going to go up forever like bit well you know some of these cryptos and other stuff that's going on but you know it's all about how much money you risk now how much how much money you make that's the main thing yes sir thank you very okay. much thank you Steve. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we're going to take a look here at the soybeans, folks. Uh, we were looking at this for the last several days. Uh, we watched this market go up. If you remember, um, this was the very first day where it had the breakout to the upside. I said every time it makes a new high, you buy it. This was the first day, which was yesterday, two days ago. It guarding me on Tuesday. It was the very first day that it didn't succeed. You went up, and then you, your stop would have been right here. Because you now your your program that you're looking at is not working, because it should have kept going and it didn't, and that's what's happened. You can see now we had this this three this one three five pattern coming down, and there's our three eight two that we were waiting. This is off the off the bottom down here, folks. This three eight two, sitting right here, down almost exactly thirty six cents, which is the harmonic number in beans. So I bought the beans at eleven ninety nine today. I'm using a four cent stop. Now, this is a contract that's worth $60,000, and I'm only risking $200. And look, there was that gap. It filled that gap, and it stayed here for three hours. I don't know what's going to happen, but give me that risk-reward ratio every day, and I'm going to be on board. Let's just blow it up because this is the type of thing we're going to be doing all day Friday. There's your ABC. There's your 135 pattern coming in right here. There's one three and five you could take either one of these it wouldn't make any difference but the key one was this one right here and we'll talk about that when we get back from our break stay with us 877-927-6648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, two questions always about Apple and Tesla. Uh, you'll notice Apple is now back in the zone. It's actually not everybody that bought it on Friday. Still, most of them are are still underwater a little bit, but we, the stock's up today, and it's acting a little more bullish because it didn't break down into this area. That's a good sign. Looking at this. On an interim basis here, you'll see here that we're having a pretty good rally today. There's the where the high where we made was way back over here. You'll see, just move this over. That was at 87. So we're not very far away. See, everybody, this was everybody on Friday. You see that everybody that bought that thing on Friday, okay, they're basically about unchanged where it is right now. And here's where we are with Apple. Now let's take a quick look at Tesla, and then we'll get back with the. Um, Boy, Tesla, that guy sure gets a lot of uh, Mr. Musk, sure gets a lot of free press. God, his name is up there almost as much as Stormy Daniels. Hold on just a second. Hold on. Here's a Tesla right here. It should be up today. It is. It's it's actually doing a little. Well, actually, still down on the day, but uh, you can see here where it's still at this level right here. It's left this uh, big gap up in here, and so far it's down on the day, but virtually nothing going on. This is, I think, this could have been, if it got just a tiny bit lower, this would have been a really nice ABCD pattern here in Tesla, but we didn't get there. We missed it by uh, quite a few points, so that's out of the business. All right, let's get back to the soybeans. Here's where we are. Now, this is going to be an hourly chart, but what we're going to be doing is we'll be looking at 13-minute, 8-minute, and 4-minute charts on Friday looking at these same types of patterns. Here's the 1, 3, 5 pattern. The key here, there's your A, B, C, D. Now, this is where we were early this morning, real early. You can see this was about 2 o'clock in the morning. We were making a 382 retracement off of the high. Now, if you happen to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I was not. That tells you the 38 was correct. And if you believe in A, B, C, D, the 382 will tell you that the A, B, C, D on this move measures to the low of the day, which was 99. And that's, uh, well, 99 and a half was the low. But not, excuse me, 90, 99 and a quarter was the low. And uh, the uh, 98 and a quarter was the low. And it measured to this level right here. Also, 1.618 expansion. The market hasn't moved at all for three hours. That doesn't mean anything to me because all I'm doing is I'm putting my stop here four cents lower, so I'm only going to risk $200.
If that fails, I have to look to see when the next swing occurs. That's the type of thing that we're going to be doing on Friday on all the different things. Now, just to give you an example of some of the volatility that we have going, I really have to show you something here. In the, just give me a second here. Where is this gold market? This gold market has been all over the map. Hold on a second. There it is right here. This would have been a day for trading gold that would be in a, a teaching for the ages. <laughs> okay, here's where we are. Okay, here's the gold market today. Now, I just, I've just i got a lot of stuff on here because I was not up when this was happening, okay? This happened at like 2 o'clock in the morning my time, but ah, too much here. Just a second here. i got to clean this up. Just a minute here. It's got too much junk on it. Let's just go. See, what the first thing we want to be looking for, this is a 13-minute chart. Okay, and there's a simple, there's a beautiful A, B, C, D pattern right here. Now that that distance right there is fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, this rally up is eleven hundred dollars. This means that there's an A, B equals C, D pattern in gold that came in almost exactly on the low. You can see it here. Where is it at? Ah, it's it's drawing it wrong. But this was the exact low right here at twelve. And the low was 1290. Okay, now the market went up. This is this is what's really exciting about it. After that, after that went up, your buy would have been right in here somewhere. You went all the way up and then pulled all the way back. Now we teach a lot of numbers: 382, 618, 786, 127. There's your 786 level right here. There's your 127 right there. And when you do that together, that means that you have. An A, B equals C, D pattern coming in right there. And so you would have been selling the gold right around uh, 2343. The high was 2345, and it made 10, made 10 bucks already. And now, as you can see here, we made a little, little bit smaller high in here. That's the first sign that you want to watch that because you want to see what that's doing. Now, this is a 13-minute chart. So if we're day trading, we want to go down to a four-minute chart to find out if we can find a nice little ABCD. And it's not there. See, we're looking for it to come in right here. Now, we will have one. We will have one in a minute if this happens. Let's just get this up here because, as you can see, we did have an ABCD here. There's your ABCD right there, right on the money, okay? And we might have another one coming in here pretty soon. When In, in a three-hour period, we're going to get a bunch of these. Now, we'll, we only do about uh, four or five trades, and so we'll be watching this level here up about $6 from where we are. And if that's the case, you'll be in a short period downtrend you see the trend is down and so you'd be, you'd be a seller at this level here risking about four dollars and that's all you have to do right now where you stand is you'd want to be on the bearish side because you've got lower highs in here okay so if you wanted to do that trade what you have to do is you got to wait for the retracement right in here just like we're looking at it right now and you know that you're going to be looking at that move right here now this is not a really symmetrical one three five there's there's one three and five there's no symmetry here all this has going for it folks and it's a good thing by the way is a 61 percent retracement of the last high stopped uh well stopped about a buck above it now you can see it's starting to move down now if you were doing a trade like that like we're going to be doing on friday we're going to put our stop now if we sold it here at 39 it's trading at 37 we're going to put our stop right here above this high so we're only risking, uh, well, 39, we're, we're basically at break even is what it is right now. And our profit objective, should that happen, would be down at this level right about here, okay? And that would be 34, that would be a $500 gain. And there's also a larger, much larger ABCD here. Hold on, just get rid of this here a second. I want to get this one in here. This is what Mandelbrot taught, folks, when he did his factual analysis stuff, and Gartley alluded to it from the book in 1937. Let's just draw the high is right here. There's your low, and there's your bigger level. So you're going to have a, either a profit objective of either uh, 2334, which would be five dollars, or you could go to 2331, which would be uh, 800 dollars. We'll be shooting for the 500 dollars, but right now. We, we would be at break-even at 2339 because we would have sold it right there 
and now we're waiting to see if it's going to look. I'm going to cover how to draw trend lines uh, on the show because they are very important. As a matter of fact, one of the things I looked at this morning when I was looking at the gold market was right here. After we had this uh, big move down in gold, you see the market rallied up, okay, and it made a short-term trend line right here. See, that's a little that's a little trend line off that high. And theory says if you break that trend line, market's going to go higher. Well, you want to see what the pullback is. Remember, we really believe in the 382 pullback. So if you just took your little marker right here, if you have any questions, folks, there's your, there's your 382. Now, you can say, well, that's only 12 minutes. Hey, folks, when you're trading three hours a day, 12 minutes is a lifetime. <laughs> okay. Let's get right back, and we'll be uh, with you in just a second. It looks like with the, if we would did this trade in the gold, it looks like we're probably going to get stopped out, but we're very close. Yeah, we will be. But this would be a break-even trade, and just about uh, by the time we get back, we'll be reporting on it. Oh, we got Stan Harley coming up. Uh, it's a break-even trade, folks. We're going to have Harley, Harley in the house. Stay with us. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Stan Harley on the line today. Stan, how are you doing? Hello, Larry. I'm doing just awesome. That's what I like to hear, pal. What do you got for us today, buddy? Well, uh, I got a few charts of uh, the stock market, gold, and uh, Bitcoin. I, Bitcoin, I thought we would uh, yes, share. Absolutely. Though I've uh, never traded it, but everybody looks at it, so. <laughs> it, okay. <laughs> uh, Let's start off with the stock market, um, a favorite topic uh, among most folks. Uh, in keeping with my thematic premise here is that the stock market is in the process of making what I think is going to be a significant uh, secular market peak. We're not there yet. I think uh, we perhaps have another, oh, six months or so to go. Perhaps uh, maybe this November might do it. Um, as I talk about a lot when I'm, I'm on the air with you here, it's my, my belief that um, markets, stock market here we're talking about now, tends to make pivotal reversals utilizing Lucas numbers. And I've done a lot of work with both Fibonacci relationships and Lucas relationships, and I find that uh, Lucas relationships are far more important than Fibonacci or any other uh, numerical relationships. And when I, whether I look at yearly charts, I look at monthly, I look at weekly, I look at daily, these Lucas numbers tend to pop up time and time again. Uh, here is a weekly chart of the S&P 500 going back about 40 years. And all of the major pivotal highs can be defined by the Lucas number series and they're times two multiple. So what I've done here in the upper left-hand corner is I put a table of the Lucas numbers right here. And here's the Lucas numbers 7, 11, 18, 29, 47, 76, 123, 129, or 199, so on. And then in the column to the right, I've doubled those numbers. Now hold those uh, in the back of your mind for the moment. And then let's look at the dominant highs on the chart over the last 25 years. Go back to March 2000 to October of 2007. That time span was 394 weeks, which is just four weeks shy of 398, which happens to be Lucas 199 times two. The next major high occurred in May of 2015, which was again, just one month shy of being that magic number of 398, Lucas 199 times two. Let's go to the February 2020 high, and that was within two weeks of being exactly Lucas 123 times two, which is 246. Um, the next high, next major high occurred in January of 2022. And that was about 94 weeks. In other words, Lucas 47 times two. So what the past is telling us is the Lucas number series multiplied by two is lined up within zero to four weeks every time of a major high. So when is the next double Lucas number due to uh, come on the scene, uh, you might ask? When is the next well, uh, Lucas number coming on the scene? I'm, I'm <laughs> delighted you asked that question, Larry. Uh, I have the answer. <laughs> Good. Let's hear it. <laughs> um, November 2024, which will be uh, Lucas 76 times 2, which is 152. And that lines up with the middle of November. Um, and uh, what I do is I, I look not just at that, but I go back and look at all the others, and I find where there is a clustering effect. And the best clustering effect appears to line up with right around November the 12th, plus or minus, of 2024. So if history is any guide, that tells me to be alert to the mid-November time frame for the potential of a significant high in the stock market. Now, what could happen is because I'm on the air with you talking about this and the cycle gods up in the sky are pushing the buttons and pulling the levers. And just to make Stan Harley look foolish, they might make it not work this time. <laughs> oh, no, that could never happen. But if they're not listening to the broadcast today, <laughs> maybe it will work. <laughs> yeah, well, you so, just never know. Uh, 
Does that ever happen to you? Happens to me all the time. <laughs> happened to me once in 1938, and I shook it off immediately and kept on going, so it's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> happens so often to me. It happens so often to me. I can't sleep at night. Well, that's not true, but anyway. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, we just, anyway, you, you and I, you, you know, seriously, the best we can do is right. we're, t we're market technicians, and we look at patterns that have governed past market movements, and then say, okay, if the pattern continues into the future, here's what we can anticipate. Uh, but things do this. They contract, they expand, sometimes they disappear altogether, and uh, that's just how it is, you know? Uh, um, here is another uh, chart, a weekly chart of the S&P 500. I've shortened the time frame down a little bit, going back to July of 2018. And uh, what I have found is the dominant lows on the chart tend to occur nominally at about every 34, 33, 34 weeks. That's about seven to eight months. Uh, that's what I call the primary weekly cycle. It expands and it contracts, but over the long haul, years, decades, millennia, um, it tends to span right at 33 to 34 weeks. You can see on the chart, sometimes it contracts a little bit, sometimes it expands a little bit. But when I take all of them and plot them on a histogram, the peak of the histogram falls at 33, 34 weeks, right in that range. Uh, so what does that tell me? That tells me to be alert to the potential for the next primary cycle low uh, in the vicinity of June 24th, which is about five or six weeks from right now. June 24th. Uh, I'll write that down. We'll have you on that day, that day for sure. Just written right it down. around the summer solstice. And yes, markets sir. Uh, frequently, not always, but frequently uh, uh, make highs and lows uh, right around the solstices and the equinoxes. It's a very common occurrence. Um, and let's take a look at the daily chart. Um, this goes back uh, a couple of years. And uh, what I've noted here are primary 53 trading day cycle lows. The last one occurred on April the 19th. And uh, if my math is right, it's due once again right around June 24th, which happens to be the same time period in which I'm expecting that next 34 week cycle low. So um, I think we need to be alert to about late June for a potential low of importance on the charts. Uh, of course, before we get to a low, we got to get to a high. And uh, it's my view that on March 28th, um, oh, we got the music. We'll pick it up after the break. Got to pay bills. Got to pay some bills. Got it. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that. 
as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, my friend. Absolutely. Uh, going back to the, uh, the stock market and the, the pattern I see developing here, um, it's the present environment, I believe, Larry, is very similar to what we saw back over in the July 27th to October 27th time frame. Uh, uh, the market went down 65 trading days. Uh, the S&P topped on the 27th. The Dow actually peaked on August the 1st. But from high to low, from the first index to peak out, to the low was about 65 trading days. And as you can see, we had an intervening 53-day cycle low right here. We came back up, we made a right shoulder lower high, and then we continued on down. I believe we are in a very similar environment. Uh, the S&P most recently topped out on March 28th. The Dow actually peaked a week prior on March 21st. And if you add 65 trading days, 63, 65, well, that takes you to June 24th, about the same time period, within a day or two. Um, Good. And we, of course, we had an intervening 53 trading day cycle low on April the 19th. Uh, so um, it looks very, very similar to me. That's a that that time period between late July and late October um, was about three months, 65 trading days. And in similar fashion, I believe we're going to go down about three months. So from March 28, about three months down, um, takes you to June 24th. Um, in, uh, in the very short term, I think we're going to make a right shoulder high between May 16th to the 20th, right in that time frame. Mm -hmm. I think you might see some stocks, some indices, some ETFs go to a slightly higher high. But probably the majority of their stocks have seen their high for the current cycle. And, uh, and then once we make that high, I think uh, the plurality among the sellers will return and the markets will head down. I don't know what the fundamental backdrop will be. Um, it's the Fed this or inflation this or whatever <laughs> you name it. <laughs> um, but uh, as a market technician, I think we're going to head south into your garden variety um, 34 week cycle low that I think is going to occur about the third week in June. And then the, uh, the market will be, I believe, sufficiently oversold from a technical perspective to provide the underpinnings for the next move higher. And I think the back half of the year is going to be a rocket ship higher. So lots of bull market to go and the back half of the year, I do believe. All right. That sounds great. Are you going to tell us about gold also? Yeah, briefly, uh, we'll, we'll discuss gold and, uh, and, and Bitcoin. Um, gold, uh, 
has a propensity to make cycle lows every 94 months, plus or minus about eight. Uh, 94, of course, is uh, our friend Lucas 47 times two. And as you can see on the chart, every dominant low on the chart, every single one has been 94 months plus or minus eight. And I have a feeling uh, Mr. Lucas won't disappoint us again. Uh, it's due once again right about now, but remember uh, there's a plus or minus eight on this uh, number 94. So I think the metals have probably seen a high and they're gonna stair step their way lower into the next 94 month cycle low in a few months time. Okay. Well, they sure are volatile, I'll tell you that. <laughs> they, they are indeed. And yeah. then uh, if we have any time left, we can dis discuss uh, briefly Bitcoin. Yes, take, don't have to be brief. Take your time. we got a good four minutes here, so take your time. Okay. All righty. Um, here's a chart of Bitcoin. This is a log chart, Larry, going back to the very first day of trading in 2010. And here's something that I have found. Again, our good friend Mr. Lucas comes into play. Uh, if we look at the first spike high, and by the way, Bitcoin has a tendency to make spike highs and rounded bottoms kind of like precious metals, which is just the opposite of the stock market, which tends to make rounded tops and spike bottoms. But the complexion of Bitcoin uh, is one of spike tops and rounded bottoms. If we take the first spike high that occurred in June of 2011 and count both left and right on the chart, Lucas numbers and their times two multiples, that has defined every single high on the charts in Bitcoin. Wow. Every single one, 100% of the time. And uh, Lucas 76 times two is 152. And by golly, we are within one month. Uh, right now, we are, uh, I mean, the March high, uh, what, is what he's trying to say is the March 13th high in Bitcoin occurred 153 months from that June 2011 high, which is within one month of uh, of the uh, of where it should have been, and in, and in terms of weeks, if you take the November 10th, 2021 high, and you add a Lucas 123 weeks to that date, you get the March high uh, within one week. So we have a, a Lucas numerical count both on the monthly chart and on the weekly chart that lines up very very neatly with the March peak in Bitcoin. That tells me that we've seen a, another spike high in Bitcoin, and the trend is uh, is southbound. Wow, that's uh, those numbers. I mean, those, some of those crypto guys ought to pay attention to that because that's amazing. It's it's interesting. Well, this is interesting. I think it's amazing. I mean, it, it, I mean. it is. It, it is. Um, I don't think anyone else is aware of it, but uh, yeah, wow. That these are my observations. Well, they're pretty good, pal. Well, I, crypto crypto guys should be listening to that because you know <laughs> that market moves a lot. I mean, it, well, it's got so many people involved in it. It's probably more than our stock people when you consider them worldwide. So, I think that's an incredible uh, statistic, uh, Stan. Do, when you do your newsletter, do you put your uh, you do put Bitcoin in it, don't you? I do. I yeah, do. that's what it's not, not every month, month uh, but uh, yeah. in the most recent month, yes, I had a section on on Bitcoin. Where I discussed okay. this, and okay. the uh, and the Lucas number series, and how it applies to the the pattern movements, the structural movements we see in in Bitcoin. Okay, listen. Thanks for joining us. I know you're a busy camper, but we're going to have you on before June 24th. But I marked you down for that date, so don't miss it. Okay. <laughs> All right, you. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Stan, for joining us. We really do appreciate it. You're a stand-up guy, and we would love you have as a guest. So stay safe over there. My pleasure. You bet. And tell your lovely wife we said hello, okay? I will do it. Okay. Stan Harley, folks. Uh, we're going to come back after a short break in here. Again, we have a live trading session between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. tomorrow. If you're interested, uh, you uh, email Jacob, J-A-C-O-B at tfnn.com. It's $250. That gives you two sessions, three hours each. Uh, we've been, well, it's not more than luck. We're a little bit better than luck, but uh, the last, uh, we've done seven so far, and uh, all of them have made money. Uh, the eighth one will be uh, on Friday. 
I can't make any guarantees, of course. That's not in the program, but uh, you stick with us. We should make a couple of bucks. Anyway, let's uh, be right back. We'll take a break, and we'll be back after the words from our sponsors at TFNN. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to bring up to your attention here. This is the Dow Jones 13-minute uh, e-mini chart. Uh, this mark right here this was the exact 61 percent apc level at 39236 i said uh, you know to uh, put a cell in that and it got filled the market broke 150 points and if you didn't have your stop at break even you see what would have happened folks knowing when you're wrong is more important than knowing when you're right even the blind hog picks up an acorn once in a while but look at this this is extended past the abcd by quite a bit we're way above the 1.618 all of the time when the russell uh, has not made a new high nor has the nasdaq now the s p certainly has it's gone up to the uh, 382 level at 3228 uh, and I, I don't know what the high was, but uh, we'll find that out at the end of the day here. But you got to know when you're wrong because that's what will keep you in the game. Being right 
you can always get that. But uh, when you're wrong and stay wrong, you won't be around long. That's the old adage that they say in the market. So let's remember that. If you can, try to join our show on uh, Friday from uh, six hours of this same type of stuff, only live trading. We usually do about four or five trades in that three-hour period. But we're in the period now where we have this giant grain report coming out at noon. And we will probably run about 15 minutes over on the hour tomorrow because of the fact the report's out. We want to see what happens. This is a major report, folks. It's the World Agricultural Supply Demand, the WADS report. It comes out, uh, I think, three, four times a year. But this is the big one because it's right in the time of the planting season and all in the harvesting that's going on in the South America for soybeans. So that's why it's going to be good. So live every day. In an attitude of gratitude, may God bless. And make sure you do something nice for your neighbors, folks. Everybody needs help. We should live in a world of love, but that ain't happening. But maybe it'll change someday. So may God bless. We'll see you on the flip side. And that will be tomorrow with our guest will be Mike Moore.